That's it showing that he was interesting. They had to had to load it all up, and then they were on the on the water during the flood, and he'd seen all the people drown. And he's on the on the ark for all of the all of those many many months, having to take care of all of those animals. <laughs> And finally, when the whole ordeal was over, he was left with his sons, and he drank too much out of, out of the first, you know, the, maybe if he just he just had all he could take at that point, and maybe it was just a one time one time thing. Yeah, not everybody gets to save mankind. No, that's true. Uh, I yeah, th- a, sorry, that was a difficult it's ordeal sad. as always. Um, yeah, I think back that his children disobeyed, um, or at least him and perhaps Japheth dis- disobeyed him. But I know that Shem was righteous. And I think Shem was like the only line that was the righteous line because you had Yafef went his own way and you can see his whole lineage was mixed even um, when you really go to the mythology of Gomer and Magog from the line of Yafef. And I mean, there is a lot, but most of his sons went some type of wicked way. Um, Shem was really the one, he was like the one that Yahushua would come from, um, the line that he was born from on earth as a human being. Um, yeah. so who's, who's a Shemite as I'm a Shemite and many of us are Shemites. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, even within his lineage, he had one guy that uh, fortunately didn't go the way his forefather Shem went. Uh, You had Nimrod coming from, oh no, Nimrod came from Ham. Never mind. Yeah. He came from Ham. So, uh, yeah. Which I don't know about Ham himself. Was Ham disobedient? I don't really see anything about Ham being where he rebels. Yes. Oh, he yeah. Did? Remember, he defiled his father. Oh, oh, that's right. The curse. Uh, the curse that was put on Canaan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. So Ham yeah. did really bad thing. He actually uncovered his dad's nakedness. That's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Which more than that. Yeah. Which Ham mean he actually had. Um, sex with his mother. That's horrible. That's really, that's like, that's like beyond, like, just sexual morality. That's, that's beyond that. It's like, that's horrible. That's. And that explains why it's in Torah not to do such a thing. Yeah. Yeah, and that was a pretty bad curse put on Canaan. Pretty much all his descendants became Nephilim, pretty much. When you look at Numbers, the book of Numbers and all that, pretty much all of the Canaanites were giants. And then you had the Anakim coming from Canaan, the Zanzumim, um, and then you had the Rephaim. So, I mean, you had, like, all these tribes of giants coming from one lineage. Yahuwah kind of put a really big curse on Canaan, like huge curse, where that's where most of the giants came from, and after the flood, and so that's that's where you get Aga Bashan. Heard Aga Bashan, I think, was from the line of Canaan also. Um, so there was like a lot. Do you think that um, maybe? I don't know. Maybe when uh, Ham did this, he impregnated Noah's wife, his own mother. It's possible. I mean, the uh, 
Um, it's very horrible to think of, but I think actually that if that happened, they probably kept the child because obviously to do an abortion is a sin. And, uh, you know, I think if, I think if his mother did have a child that, um, most likely it lived and most likely, but it, it would be weird for her to have a child and not to be spoken of, like for it, for you who have not to say it in his word, like, you know, she begot so-and-so because of this instance or, yeah, it would unless be, it's been removed. Yeah, unless it's been removed, um, unless there's another person in Noah's, you know, lineage on his wife's side that there was, there was, there's not mentioned really, and most likely it's because probably something's been removed. If if she did have a child, we don't even know for sure if she got impregnated or what happened. Uh, why else would Noah? Uh, curse Canaan for what Ham did. Oh, generational curses. There's, there's such thing as the son gets cursed. I mean, you don't curse your grandchild. I mean, I mean, there's a reason why but he cursed. Canaan was already born way before he was his grandson. In Genesis, he was his grandson. Canaan was already like speaking, he, he probably was already a couple years old, most likely. And there's no way that he, he's the, the child born from that because he was already, already born before that even happened. So why, why was he cursed? Because of his dad. There's generational curses in scripture. There's, there's, such thing as, there's such thing as the dad's sons go to the son. There's an actual precept in scripture. Yeah, the sins of the fathers. Go to their son, meaning like their physical son. I know that um, Yahuwah said later on, he said, no more would the father's sin go to the his sons, but the son's sin or the son's sin go to the father's. It would be every man's sin would be his responsibility to rectify. Yeah, I mean, I actually would so like to check. That, but check. I think at that time you're right. Yeah, the um, I think it's Canaan's. If I look up Canaan's ge genealogy, I'm pretty sure I'll find that he was born before. Um, yeah. He, Hopefully it was. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think he he was born from that because mm. I, I, I do remember seeing something about him and his brothers having children before that even happened. That whole incident with their dad getting drunk even happened. Um, see here. Yeah, Noah's, Noah's biggest problem was he got too drunk and passed out. Oh. Yeah, let's see here. There's, I should be able to find let's see, genealogy genesis.com. See if I can find this. I'm just curious to see if it actually shows his mother on here. Um, yeah, if you look in Genesis, you know. Genesis. That's where we find out. It gives the whole image of all of them. Mm -hmm. And nine, <clears throat> excuse me. And nine twenty four says, and Noah awoke from his wine, and he knew what his younger son had done to him, and he said, "Cursed is Canaan. Let him become a servant of servants to his brothers." Well, it's always been speculated that, um, if I'm not mistaken, that he, um, he had the three, the three different races. That uh, Japus became, you know, the Japanese and the Chinese, and the that um, Ham became the black, black race, and um, 
Of course, we're the right white race, the Caucasians. Well, actually, we're all of the human race, and they're different tribes. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you very well. I say we're we're all of the human race, and they're just different. We're just different tribes. Now there is oh, yeah. a mixture of race with the Melikim, with the with with the messenger. Right. Yeah, I think I'm talking about Shem and Japheth. Yeah, she's talking about ethnicity. That's what she's referring to. I don't think the ethnicities were different. Ethnicities were started like that. I think there's always been different ethnicities, in my personal opinion. I don't. I don't ascribe to that. Jake Theft is a Japanese and all that. And that's that's more of like an assumption. That's. I think. I think there's always been different ethnicities um, since the Tower of Babel. You had 70 different nations. Not all of them were the same skin color. I mean, so. I, I had a black woman come to me when I was in Worldwide and say, do you know that I have a sister who's as white as you are? And she was born from my mother and father. And I said, wow, I didn't know that. And. They said that they uh, had her adopted out because they didn't want to um, raise, you know, a black couple didn't want to raise a white child. Wow. How interesting. Yeah. What about and, uh, the love for your own child? <laughs> that's, well, I'm just saying that's what they did. That's what they did back then. That was, I guess she was my age, so that would make make her almost 70 now. And her, her sister was older, so. What people do. And I've heard the same thing that um, black children have been born of white couples. And sometimes people get upset and think that the other spouse had uh, been unfaithful when they had. Don't you think it's interesting that black couples have been known to have white children and yet white couples have not been known to have black children oh white couples have had black children oh really yeah yeah oh okay wow that, that's just what i was saying that um white couples that ha have had black children and they did the same thing they put them up for adoption um, because they felt, first of all, that one of the, one or the other had been unfaithful, even if they hadn't, but they didn't, they didn't want that in their lineage. So they had them adopted. Same as the, um, white baby was put up for adoption. That's what our day and age does when that happens get rid of them yeah oh. oh well i might uh i might be wrong about the assumption of canaan who his mother would be because scripture actually doesn't say it, uh genesis nine eighteen just talks about that all the descendants of noah's three sons were the ones that have been scattered all over the earth the ones that are scattered mean those are the nations that were separated at the Tower of Babel. So it's kind of, I don't know if I can assume that Canaan was born before that whole uncovered his dad's nakedness. I don't know. I would, I would. Ham was the father of Canaan. Yeah, that's all it says. It says that Ham was the father of Canaan, but who was his mother? And that, that's, I guess that's where can be left up to interpretation because there's no verse 
that says who his mother was. So that's kind of a gray area because it doesn't really say. And he doesn't really – doesn't get to Canaan really until after the incident with uh, Canaan and his mother. So it would just be weird to curse a child before a child can speak. I don't know. Just – it's like how would the child even understand what you're saying to him? Like if no one's like cursing a baby that's been born. Like to me that's – like, I don't know, I don't know if no one would be doing that. I, I would think the, the child would be at least a little toddler, at least like five years old or something. How do you curse a toddler? Um, no one knew what he was saying because it came from Yahweh. It's hmm. just hard to understand. <laughs> Cursed is Canaan, let him become a servant of servants to his brothers. Which verse is that? Verse 25. Okay, thank you. And then it says in 26, Baruch be Yahuwah, the Alayim of Shem and let Canaan become his servant. And it looks like Yapheth was righteous because it says, Let Alayim enlarge Yapheth and let him dwell in the tents of Shem. Hold on. And let Canaan become their servant. I think I might have proof that Canaan was born before this happened because verse 22 says, Ham. The father of Canaan saw the nakedness of his father and then went out and told his brothers without. And the Septuagint actually says the father of Canaan. So meaning that Canaan would have had to be born before this happened for it to say that. And so, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into that verse, but it seems like it's saying that Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father. So meaning that that at that Ham, um, that Canaan, his son would have had to be born before this even happened. So I don't know. That's just something I came across. It's verse twenty-two in that chapter, and it actually says the father of Canaan. So you you can speculate so many things, like you know how children think things are funny if the. Right. If his father, or it would be Canaan's grandfather, if his grandfather or grandmother were laying on their bed naked and he saw it, he thought he would think it was funny and say, look, daddy. And, and so Ham came, came in there and looked at her. And maybe that's why he cursed Canaan. It's, just, it's all left out. Yeah. Don't. Mm, or maybe there's something about about um, the about Yahuwah's commandments we didn't know back then, where where automatically the curse has to go to the firstborn of the person that that didn't did the crime. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, there's definitely precepts for the that the sins of the father carry down to the son. I've seen verses like that in the Tanakh. So I mean, I mean, it could be a rule that Yahuwah went by back then for a certain reason, and maybe Noah just did it because you know maybe that's what he was supposed to do was curse the son instead of the father. I don't know. But we've got two more chapters to read and. I don't know how much time we have. We got less than a minute. We're about to get kicked off. That was kind of uh, kind of going all different directions because of that. What because of uh, 
what Enoch was saying in that chapter, in chapter, uh, I believe it's 106 we just read. Yeah. So uh, please stay tuned, everyone. We're about to get cut off right now. So um, we'll be back hopefully shortly if you want. So.